What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Exploring the Outdoors. I'm Tim. And I wanted to show y'all, if y'all seen my little short video I did on the h calorie diesel heater design that's new this year. Uh, I wanted to just do a little video on it and show you. I got it right now set up on my camper. It's not really that cold. It's only like 59, 60 degrees right now. So it's not really that cold, but I'm just messing with it and figure I'd uh, make a little video and show y'all the new one. And so far I'm pretty impressed with it. I like it. It's a cool little design and uh, It'll get a lot of use. So, I actually have it on my little Jayco travel trailer. Here's the mini split that I installed. That thing still works awesome. Uh, on heater function, that thing will burn you out really quick. On AC, it'll freeze you out. So that thing is awesome there. But this little guy here, let me turn the light on. So here is the new diesel heater design they came out with. It's a rectangular little box, kind of like a, a little tote box actually. And it's got a, a the, the remote is actually the controller is encased inside this little cover right here, so, you know, so it ain't gonna get too messed up. And then there's the little display screen on it. And it's also Bluetooth, so I've been using it with my phone. I can turn it on or off from my phone. It does auto on and off depending on the temperature. So if you have the temperature set, it'll run until it gets to that temperature and then it shuts off. So that's kind of cool too. Uh, comes with your standard little exhaust pipe for the diesel heaters. Here's where your air goes in. Air comes out over there. It doesn't come with a hose. I just use the black dryer hose that I have for my other diesel heaters. So I got it clipped on right here and it goes up. I don't really have anything up here, so it's just blowing heat in, but I got the little, I got the little vent tube on here. I just got it stuck in a window, blowing heat in the camper. And it's got a remote. I haven't been able to set sex successfully pair the remote but I don't really see using a remote very much if I have an app on my phone that works. So I'll show you inside the diesel heater. It's got these little latches here. They're pretty nice little latches. They look nice and secure. So inside you have a decent sized fuel tank and the diesel heater. The only thing I wish they would have done differently is I wish they would have made this case a little bit wider so you can put like the exhaust pipe and the uh, power cable in here. So the power cable I haven't really seen many diesel heaters like the Chinese ones you get off Amazon. Sorry, my finger was in the way. I haven't seen many of them come with an AC power brick that you plug in. So this one comes with a power brick and hooks in right here on the side of the heater, a little flat lid. And it's just plugged into my little power station right now. Right now it is currently only using about 10 watts. So that's not bad. I mean, it's sitting there blowing decent heat and it's just cruising along and it's running about 10 watts so I, mean, I actually kind of like this one a lot way better than the other designs i have the big yellow pelican case one that i built which cost me 300 dollars after it was all said and done bandit you want the camper here go in buddy he likes the camper all right you're staying there but uh yeah these pelican case one it's heavy it's big it's bulky and it, it cost me like 300 bucks to build it. And then I had uh, another company send me one of the, the skinny upright red ones. And that one I used it at the Overland Expo in uh, Arizona this year. And I've used it on a couple other little trips and it worked out really well. But again, the design on it, I really didn't care for it. It was tall and uh, you had to bend the exhaust pipe on it, which these here they have a little 90 degree It just clips onto the side. It's actually pointed out the side already for you. So that's pretty cool and It's got little legs to keep it up off the ground But I didn't like the the tall red one. I still have it I may mount it to my shop and just use it for heat inside the shop This one here I can see me carrying this one a lot more and using it because of the shape of it It's gonna be easy to pack and the size of it. It's not very heavy It's got a little handle on top for carrying it around like I mean, it, even when I got it full of fuel, it's not that bad. Uh, there is a the side. there is a manual fuel gauge right here, so you can see where your fuel level is. And I'll have to do a video about the app. I'm still learning all the features and reading the book. The book is pretty helpful. Uh, it does a it's got a lot of features to it. But yeah, we'll do some more videos on it. I just wanted to play with it right now and had it set up on my little tire table here on the camper and figured I'd make a quick little video about it and 
show you all the new design. The one that shows up on Amazon doesn't look like, it looks like this, but the little covers are red, like solid red. They're not clear like this one. So they sent me this one before they even had it available on Amazon and they just put it available on Amazon. And I, not, I don't want to tell you what the price is because I'd have to go look again, but I'll put a link to it in the uh, video description and to the other ones I use. Or you can just go to my Amazon store and go through all the camping stuff and you can find all the diesel heater parts and stuff that I used to build them, the hoses and everything. But, yeah. So yeah, I think that'll be a, a good little addition to my camping gear, whether I'm using my camper or my overland rig set up on my truck with the tent or hammock camping or whatever. I mean, if I got power and everything, I can carry that little thing with me and I got heat. And it works really good. I think puts out a lot of heat too. I'm not sure what size that one is though, because you know they usually rate them like uh, an eight kilowatt or whatever. But I don't. I'm not sure what size that one is. So I have to try to do some more research and figure out what size it is, and we'll do some more update videos on it as we use it. And yeah. Anyway, hope you guys are all out camping, and uh, have fun, and see y'all later.